Hi, I'm Robert. In today's video, I'm going to use Lightroom's brush tool to take this image of Huntington Beach from here to here, all in Lightroom. My friend gave me a call to tell me that there was some large waves at Huntington Beach. So we hopped in the car and drove down there. The waves were crashing way out in the ocean towards the end of the pier. Huntington Beach Pier is a really long pier, and it's also really tall. There was a pretty good sized crowd gathering, but there was still plenty of room for me to maneuver and shoot. We were here during mid-morning, so we didn't get any sunset colors, but there were some nice clouds and blue skies. I didn't have a long lens, so I couldn't zoom in on the surfers, so I was shooting more landscape style shots. Also, I don't have any experience shooting surfing, but I think it would be fun. You can see the settings I was using here. I was using a really fast shutter speed because I wanted to freeze the action. In this photo, we're going to do a lot of brush work to highlight different areas. So let's get started at the bottom like we always do. Make sure we're on the current version. We're not going to apply a vignette on this image. Let's click on Constrain Crop, zoom in on the horizon, and fix this crooked horizon. I was shooting handheld, so it's a little bit more off than usual. That looks good. Now let's go up, click on our standard boxes here, enabling the profile corrections and removing the chromatic aberrations. You can see I was only using a 17 to 55 millimeter lens on my crop body Canon 40D, so I didn't have a whole lot of reach. Let's go up to sharpening, do our standard sharpening of 100, and holding down the mask, we'll press Alt. Scroll up, let's sharpen everything except for the sky. That looks good. If you want to see how your sharpening is affecting your image, you can click on this little box here and drag it around to zoom in to get a little bit better view. Let's skip the color panel for now. We'll go up to our basic panel. I'm going to bring the highlights all the way down to recover that sky. Let's bring the shadows up a little bit so we can see into the pier a little bit better. That looks good. I'm looking at the histogram. We can still move right and left a little bit. So let's bring our white slider up till we clip, then back it down. We'll do the same with the black slider. Bring it down, we clip, bring it back up. Now let's go to saturation and bring the blue up. So I'm liking how the sky looks now. Let's see how it looked before. Before, we're lacking any color. After, we have a nice blue color, but not too overdone. Now's when we're gonna work on our brush work. Let's grab our brush. You can double click effects to reset all of your sliders. Let's go down, make sure auto mask is on to make things easy. I'm gonna start by brushing in this area. So press O for overlay so we can see where we're working and I'm gonna brush this wave. If you spill over, just press down Alt, turn your brush into an eraser, and you can erase those areas. Then press O, let's turn off our overlay. This water looks kinda of brown and dark, so let's brighten it up. First off, let's change the color temperature slightly. I don't wanna bring it too far down, cause then it just looks blue and weird. But I want to get rid of some of the brown color, so we'll cool it down a little bit. And to brighten it up, just go to Exposure, bring your Exposure up, go a little past where you think looks good, then back it back down. That looks nice. This wave is acting as our foreground element, as well as our right side element. So we have a foreground element on the bottom right, we have a background element in the back left. So your eye is going to look from the right to the left and from the front to the back. Let's click on new brush and let's brush in this area here. Turn on my mask. I want to brighten this area up a little bit. So we're gonna use the same technique. We'll bring our color temperature down a little bit and our exposure up. Let's click on a new brush and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on this area here. I wanna paint in the tips of these waves so we can brighten them up. 
Auto mask makes things so easy. That looks good. We can erase this little area here. Turn off our mask. This time I'm just going to bring the exposure up a bit. Just to brighten up those waves. That's good. We can go back here, click on fit to get back our full image. So now that we've worked on the water, I want to bring out the crowd. And usually if there isn't this many people here at Huntington Beach Pier watching surfing. So I want to highlight them by brushing in some exposure on them. So let's grab a new brush, turn on our overlay, and let's brush in all of the crowd. We spilt over onto the pier a little bit. So let's just make our brush into an eraser and take care of that. We don't have to be super precise. And let's go over to exposure and bring it up. This looks a little unnatural, so I'm just gonna back it down. That looks good. So we can go down here and turn off all of our brushwork. So here's before, the image looks a little flat, kind of boring. We turn it on, it really punches it up. Adding brightness to certain areas really draws your eye to them. I'm done with my brush, so let's close it. I wanna work on this red roof over the rubies now. So we'll go down to the HSL panel. I'm gonna start with luminance. I wanna darken it up a little bit. It looks a little faded and washed out. After I work on luminance, I go to saturation and I bring up the saturation. I'm gonna bring it up quite a ways. And let's check out the hue. We can make it a little more orange or a little more red. If we slide it to the right, it becomes more orange. But if we slide it to the left, we can get more of a red shade. There was a bit of an orange cast on the roof. So let's take a look at before and after. So here's before, very washed out, muted colors, and after. Nice, bright, vibrant colors. Not a bad image. I wish I was able to catch a surfer riding a wave, but there was only one guy out there on the north side of the pier. I was here for quite a while trying to get some surfing action, but it just wasn't working out. The waves were large and everybody just kept falling before I could get a good shot. I'll need more practice timing my surfing images. I'd also like to return with a long lens so I could get some detailed shots of the surfers from the pier. Have you shot sports or surfers before? Leave your tips below in the comments to help everybody out. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks.